All right, welcome back. Week 15 of Cycle 1, Science Experiments, continuing our study of Earth Science. Um, our verse, again, of this quarter, Psalm 24, 1, says, The earth is the Lord's, and all the fullness thereof. Everything that we're learning about tells us more about our Creator and more about the earth that He has formed. So, today we get to study fossils, which are super fun. Um, so, the question, or our purpose of this experiment is, um, what is a fossil? Um, get some background information. The kids may be able to form you, inform you of a lot of things they already know. Um, has anyone seen a fossil? Um, what do fossils tell us? Um, are fossils from living things, non-living things? Um, and just gather some information there. For background information or research, you wanna give them a good definition of a fossil. And a fossil is simply an imprint or remnant of an organism from past geological times. So it's an imprint of a plant or an animal um, or bones, shells, various things that um, have were alive or were present in past times. So a fossil gives us a little picture into history, which is what's very cool about them. So scientists, geologists, paleontologists, they study these to learn about organisms from history, which is pretty cool. So um, we can even find evidence about the flood through fossils that are found on mountaintops throughout the West. Um, and that can't really otherwise be explained why there are fish fossils um, at the top layer of the Earth's crust. You can review what are the layers of the Earth. Um, you know, we got our core mantle crust, biosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere. Where do you think fossils are mostly found? They're found in the crust of the Earth. Um, and what are types of rocks? Because those are going to be important too as we study the types of fossils. Our types of rocks are sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. Um, so those are going to be important. We're going to, um, so doing that background information, just getting those things fresh in their brain. Again, the definition of a fossil. And then our materials. So each child will get a paper plate, a piece of clay, a seashell, um, and then we're going to share Vaseline and the water and plaster of Paris. Now the younger kids, while the kiddos are making their initial fossil, a parent or the tutor can make the little mixture of plaster of Paris. The older kids can share a cup of water and each have their own little cup of plaster of Paris and stir and make their own. So, um, so we'll have that available for the older kids, but younger kids, again, we'll just have a couple sets that a parent can make and then help the child do the second part of our experiment. So those are all of our supplies or materials. So what we do, first of all, have the kiddos all maybe write their name on their plate. So when we set them to dry, we don't mix up whose is whose. You're gonna have them take their clay, smash it out kind of flat, works better than if it stays in a ball to make your first imprint. This is going to be an example of ancient mud from a long time ago. Um, so we're going to pretend this is our mud in a foreign land from hundreds of years ago and thousands of years ago even. And an elephant put an imprint on it or stepped on it. A plant decayed or died there. A seashell was left there after the flood. And um, when that organism stayed there, it makes an imprint. So we're gonna do that same thing. So the clay again is like the mud from a long time ago. Every child gets a little Vaseline, put it on the back of your shell. And really the purpose of this is just to make the shell come out easily without messing up your initial imprint. So just put it into your clay and um, I kind of wrap the clay around it. So of course something that's heavy is gonna have a deeper, thicker imprint than something that's light like a leaf or something that would decay there and dry. Once you push down to make an imprint, 
I'm going to very gently remove your shell. And we have our first kind of fossil. This is called a cast fossil. So again, this is when an organism leaves their imprint um, or in the mud, in an area of dirt or mud. And this, if this were not filled in with sediment, with rocks and dirt, and this was what was discovered, this would be a cast fossil. Um, so these are a type of fossil, again, where they're not filled in. And then, um, but over time in our particular fossil, um, dirt, wind, and rain pushed all the different rocks and sediment, and it filled in our cast fossil or the imprint that was there. And it makes a different kind of fossil. So to do that, we're going to make our ancient mud. And with that, we have the four, um, I just used the plastic teaspoon, um, scoops of not heaping, really just barely full here, of the plaster of Paris, and then two teaspoons of water. And really the, the feel you're going for here is kind of a thick mud. And um, a couple of times I've had to add just a hair more of the water. Just don't add too much. There we go. You want to mix it. And because we're using small amounts, that's why it's okay for the older kids to make their own. And again, you're kind of going for this thick mud type thing. Um, and it dries pretty fast when it's that consistency. So once they've made that, we're going to actually take your teaspoon and fill in your cast fossil and then just leave it be. This goes in the trash. Please do not have a mom rinse off any of these. The spoon, the cup, all of its um, materials go right in the trash. Um, this can really damage pipes, so we do not want this going down the sink. Um, so once it's there, so that is our sediment and our dirt and all has filled our cast fossil. Um, now in class, I would say, awesome, all right, so just like it took a lot of years for the, the next fossil to form, we're going to give ours a few minutes to dry, and in that meantime, you can move on with presentations and then come back um, 20, 30 minutes later. It really doesn't take it long at all to set up. Um, so it'll be done after your next section. Then come back, spend the last five, 10 minutes um, making your analysis and conclusions about fossils. So after it's had time to dry, the um, clay peels right off, very easy. The plaster of Paris pops right out, and this is what's left. This is a second type of fossil called a mold fossil. So you have a cast, and then this is the mold. Um, yeah, making sure I told you right. So um, again, you have your cast and then a mold fossil. So this is what like bones that were left after an animal um, or something make their imprint in the dirt the um, or in the mud, the dirt and everything fills it back in. And then we may find an actual, um, what looks like an actual seashell, um, but it's actually the imprint that was then filled in with dirt and that is what hardened and we're left with a mold fossil. So all the kiddos then can take home both their mold fossil and their cast fossil, which is the clay that's there. Um, they can take those all home with them. Um, and then just in conclusion, again, what are fossils? Um, an imprint of a remnant of an organism, plants and animals, um, people that tells us a little glimpse of history that we can learn about um, from past geological times. All right, have fun.